Hey craft cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. So I am filming this just kind of in my little uh, living room, dining room area right now because I wanted to show you all of this before I start to build everything. So this is kind of in craft room organizing hall. Most of this is from Ikea, but the cube organizers are from Target because the Calyx unit that I normally buy is out of stock. I also have the Billy Corner bookshelf coming, but probably not for a couple more weeks because that thing's always out of stock. So let's just get started right over here. And you can see uh, that I have these cube units. Again, these are from Target. They're a little bit less expensive than the Ikea ones, but I also think they're, I think they're a little bit smaller. I can't quite remember. But I'm using actually three of these. I have one behind me to create a island, uh, a tabletop island for my craft room. So that should be interesting. I still need to buy the tabletop and maybe I'll do a whole separate video on that. Um, we'll just kind of start here. I got this letter. I don't, this is what it's actually called. But I am going to be using it to maybe put papers or like projects that are in progress. Um, and put them in the little uh, files. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work out, but we will see. Then I got this smaller um, little rolling rack. Actually, I'm pretty sure it does have wheels. Yeah, it's, so this is a Linert, and I thought this might be good for like shipping supplies and stuff. It is smaller and it was really inexpensive. Next to me here, I know you can't really see anything, but I just thought some of you might be interested. I got this desk, it's the Paul, and it was $79, which I think is pretty good for even just a basic desk. Um, and so it comes in two pieces here. And I was also going to get the, there's like a tabletop add-on um, that has shelves, but I kind of wanted to see how I liked it alone first. Over here, I accidentally ordered two because I did all of this online. So let me come this way. This is the Bagabo. I'm probably not saying that right. And it's a shelf unit, um, but it's, it's a little bit different than a bookcase because it's just all kind of open, but I think that will be nice. So I did accidentally buy two. Um, I'll probably hold on to one until I have the craft room all done because I might be able to use the second one either in my craft room or somewhere in the house, maybe even the garage. These are only $24. And again, I think that's a really good deal for a shelf, even though it's not like a fancy looking bookcase or anything like that, like the Billy. Um, also, let me know if you have the Billy bookcases because they uh, are amazing, but they're impossible to get a hold of. I got a bunch of these magazine files. Um, they're only like 50 cents and they are just out of like the corrugated cardboard, but I have, a bunch of my papers and things in files all mismatched. So I thought it'd be nice to just have all white um, for now. Now I'm gonna turn around and hopefully not get you dizzy just to finish off the haul. I actually got two of the pig boards because I thought it would be beneficial to just take up wall space um, in a functional way. So I got two of them and then I got a bunch of the little add-ons I got the, so this is this is called the Scatus um, pegboard. And so it has all of these different add-ons. There's like little cups. I have a bunch more in the room. I have um, this little tray and I got three of those. And then I also just got some hooks because I'm sure I'll have plenty of things that I could just hook on. So yeah, I'm really excited about the pegboard. I think that will be fun to utilize. And then this was much bigger than I expected. This is just um, almost like a spice rack or a book shelf, um, but it's much bigger than I thought. Uh, I would say it's like four feet. I don't really know, but let me see if I can find what this one's called in case you are wondering. This is the Moss Landa. And I'm not sure if I will be putting maybe um, finished personal journals on or maybe, I mean, there's all kinds of things. I'm just gonna have to see. Um, I do want some smaller shelves like this, something for my stamp pads, 
but I'm, since I have so many of the cube organizers as well, I was sort of thinking that maybe I can make some type of an insert to store my stamp pads as well. Like I'm talking about like Tim Holtz stamp pads because I have a bunch of them. So let me know if you have any ideas for organizing stamp pads like those. But that's everything in this haul. I know it's a bit weird just because we're just here showing you everything in the boxes, but I can't wait to show you once things are starting to get built and I am excited to get everything set up so that I can start using my craft room. That's all for this video, guys, so I'll see you in the next. Bye.